Hey guys, what's going on? So in this video, I want to show you exactly how you can prompt any AI to become the perfect bot to qualify all of your leads and book more appointments than you ever thought was possible. Now, one of the biggest things that I hear about, biggest issues that I hear about is people uh, claiming that certain bots don't work or whatever it might be, and it is 100,000% a prompting issue. If you know how to prompt, you can literally turn, go on any platform you want, ChatGPT, close bot, whatever, and prompt any AI to be the perfect AI to qualify all of your leads and book appointments. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example of how you can get this to work and I'll show you exactly how we prompt this. All right, so I'm just going to come in here and let's just say yo. So I said, hey, just saw your info coming. You running paid ads at the moment? Yes, a little. So it's asking a series of questions, right? It's making it very conversational. It's very human-like. Cool. Let's jump on a call and I can give you the rundown of pricing, et cetera. Here's the link. Let me know if you have any trouble with the link. It's been very funky, funky lately, LOL. Okay, so this entire conversation, very human-like. And if you have the right type of wait period between messages, you wouldn't have been able to tell it was an AI appointment setter. Now, this is what we want. We have to program it to have objectives, um, like to book appointments, for example, or to fill out a form. And then we have to have bullet points of what ba basically many objectives throughout the prompt so that the AI actually has you know questions to ask. What questions to ask? How many questions does it ask before it marks it as a qualified lead? And what does it do once all of the questions are asked? It books an appointment or asks them to fill out a form or whatever it might be. So um, to give you an idea of how this is prompted, one of the first things you want to do is you always want to tell the bot what its objective is. So your primary goal is to book an appointment after asking a series of qualifying questions, right? And then your goal is to assist the customers with their queries. Actually, I don't like that. We're going to change this to that. And then this is where the magic happens. So we're telling it what the first message is going to be whenever you know a lead opts in or whatever it might be. Conversation guidelines. So maintain a casual, purposeful, and concise tone. Mirror the customer's language and manner of speaking. Be attentive and thorough while talking to the customer. These are all just examples of how I prompt. AI loves examples. So we're telling it to avoid the things that we don't like. And you can find all of the things that you don't like out by testing it. If you hear the AI talking all crazy, and saying things that you don't want it to say, it's as easy as prompting it not to do the things that you didn't like uh, to begin with. But um, let's go ahead and keep moving through this. So we give it rules to follow, right? It needs to have a set of guidelines to make sure that it's going to actually have like a, an effective conversational track. Um, so here, here's a very important part. You need to do this with every prompt. So your main priority is to ask qualifying questions and get them to book an appointment. Here are the qualifying questions, right? So in our case, we have one and two. These are very, these are like non-friction qualifying questions. And then we tell it, do not try to book the appointment until the questions are answered. Only ask one question per message. When questions are answered, say, let's jump on a call so I can give you the rundown of pricing. And this is just like a very human-like phrase that I like the bot to say whenever it gets to the actual appointment booking stage. Now you have to tell it this. This is like the, um, like the mini objectives within the prompt that are going to give the bot like a an entire path to follow. So regardless, its main goal is gonna get the answers to those questions. So even if the person veers off and asks the pricing or whatever, or has to overcome objections, objectives along the way, it will nonchalantly overcome the objectives and result back to asking question number two or whatever it might be to get the answer. And then it will book the appointment and be able to service or uh, respond to any queries or questions that it has, as long as you've given it sufficient information about the, the actual company. Um, we tell it what the, li obviously the link that it has to book onto use a millennial conversation style. Don't be too formal. So this is giving you an example. So I, I, we go very in depth when we're prompting, and this is actually a very, very short prompt compared to what we really do. Um, but I wanted to keep it simple for this video. Don't say things like ready to book. This is not human. Like make sure to ask questions like this. Um, so like you doing X, Y, Z, instead of, are you doing X, Y, and Z? This is just seems more human. Like, so for example, at the beginning of here, it said, Hey, just saw your info come in. You running paid ads at the moment. Very human. Like also be sure to acknowledge what they say before asking more questions. Now you want to implement this into your actual process. Here's how we are going to do it. Um, so there is a 
action in Go High Level. Go High Level is a CRM that we use to basically manage all of our leads. If you don't have it, I 100% would advise that you do get it. Um, in the automation section, you have an appointment booking conversational AI bot. And we actually helped develop this. Um, one of the reasons why we like it. So you click on this and it actually gives you the ability, same thing that we just went over, the ability to conduct the personality, um, the additional instructions, etc. So here is what we are going to do because I already have one here. So if you look at the, the reason why we want to do it in the workflow instead of in the settings is because you can create specific scenarios. So I can do it off form submissions, um, Facebook lead form submissions, TikTok form submissions, LinkedIn ad submissions, website forms, whatever it might be. Anytime someone submits a form, our AI is reaching out to them via text message, Instagram, uh, Facebook DMs, whatever you want it to be. You can program it to do whatever, and you can select the channel that it's going to communicate on. So channel, SMS, Facebook, Instagram, etc. right? Perfect. Now, when those things happen, people submit a form, for example, we have this prompted to send a message. Your first message will be this, right? Um, and right now, and I'll go over this in a second, but these are uh, housed with custom values at the moment, but you can say like, hey, um, contact first name, um, I just saw your info co come in, just curious what your main fitness goal is at the moment or something like that, right? So you have that first message, you give it all the conversation guidelines, you give it the examples, conversation examples, when, what type of phrases to use more consistently than others to make it seem more human-like, the rules to follow, um, qualifying questions, right? And then the additional instructions, whatever it might be. And then you have the personality up here. So you would take all of the prompting, the skills from prompting that we went over before, and you're going to plug it into here. And you're going to save the actions. And the coolest thing about this is that you can create multiple of these. So you can copy this entire workflow. And let's say you wanted to do it for appointment no-show, just as an example. And give me one second. As we wait for this to refresh. Okay, so let's say we wanted to add a different trigger over here and it was appointment status appointment status is no show boom what we could do is create an entirely different AI that is only for no shows so the AI and you could prompt it with a different objective and the AI would be responsible for taking all of the no shows right whenever you mark the appointment as no show the AI would automatically reach out to that person saying, hey, we saw you missed your appointment, asking a question to incentivize them to respond. It might ask an additional couple of questions, and then it would rebook them onto the calendar. And you can do this for so many different scenarios. You can create customer service bots that are triggered only in certain scenarios. You can create uh, whenever a form su is submitted, uh, no-shows, etc. And you can get really creative with this. But the biggest thing is to make sure that you prompt it accordingly. If the bot that you have created is not doing what you want it to do, it's because you did a crappy job prompting it. And then, I, and I get messages all the time about, hey, like, you know, the bot that you uh, created doesn't work or whatever it might be. That's not the case. It's that you didn't put enough time into learning how to prompt. If you're going to use this for your business, you need to put some time into it. And if you spend two, three hours actually testing it and actually prompting it, it won't take you long to get the hang of it. Um, so test, reiterate, prompt, test, reiterate prompt, find out what you do and don't like, and you can literally talk to the AI like it is a child, and it will follow all of the instructions that you give it. Um, one of the things that we have done specifically to make this significantly easier for everybody that uses it is we've created our entire prompt using custom values, right? So all of our, um, we basically cut a copy and paste this prompt into every account that, that we create for clients that may or may not want to use this, right? And the cool thing about it is that since the the workflow is already created, we can just come into the custom values area. And all I have to do is, doesn't matter if I created a new account or if I'm making a new bot or whatever, we create a folder that is uh, directly associated with that bot or with that account. And then we can just put new business information, new company name, a new appointment link to, to book onto, 
conversation examples, conversation style, the name of the AI assistant, the personality traits, qualifying questions one and two, and then the initial trigger message that goes out. All I have to do is come in here, fill this out. I don't have to reprompt it. I only prompt the AI once. I prompt it, test it one time, and now every time I duplicate it into other accounts, all I have to do is come in here, change this information, and I'm 100% done with everything. I don't ever have to prompt my AI again, and it's gonna work exactly how I want it to, and it's going to adapt to whatever business models that I want it to adapt to. So hopefully you've got something from this video. Um, the number one thing to remember is that prompting is everything. Learn how to prompt actually test the AI, spend some time. It's not just something you set up once, you talk to it once, and because it didn't do what you wanted it to do, it didn't work. You need to test, reiterate, prompt, test, reiterate, prompt, etc. Hopefully you've gotten some value from this. If you haven't already, if you go uh, in the description, we actually have a school community 100% free. We're gonna start implementing group calls as well. We have a bunch of free courses, so I hope you appreciate the value. We also have the snapshot in the description um, with this AI that you can load into your Go High Level account if you already have one. So thank you for watching the content. I'll catch you in the next one.